A twitch of the ears, a flick of the tail, green eyes darting back and forth, soaking in the sunlight, watching for birds, absorbing all the backyard has to offer. Even behind caged walls, the outdoors is still exciting. Well, we all grew up with cats and dogs uh, just coming, you know, going free. I mean, when I grew up, even dogs were just let out the back door to do their business and they came back sometime later. That's not common anymore. And increasing, it's not common for cats to go out. Hey, John. Hello. John Creviston is the creator and mastermind behind these outdoor enclosures, large yet discreet cages designed for indoor pets. And it suits him well, considering he has a long history with animals. Well, I worked for 17 years at the Calgary Zoo, and the key moment to me was in 1988 during the Winter Olympics when we had the giant pandas there for seven months, and I was a, a primary panda keeper. That was a really uh, powerful and important experience for me. Nowadays, it's creating these safe spaces, cut off from the dangers of the outdoors, that gives him that feeling of importance. Well, what's happening increasingly is that people keep their cats inside to keep them safe from, uh, you know, from, from disease, from fighting with other cats, it's a big issue, from predation. So really, it's a way to allow those cats that are otherwise locked inside to be able to experience the outdoors. And some municipalities even have bylaws in place to prevent cats from roaming the neighborhood. As for Sheila and Barry, they found their cat was just getting in too much trouble. For us, it was the only solution. There, there came a day when I couldn't let him out one more time. He Every time I let him out, it was like, is he going to come back? John will work one-on-one -on -one with his clients to build the perfect enclosure for their pet. So Sheila and Barry, for example, their cat, Mr. Pickles here, doesn't get along with their other cat, Smooshy. So their solution, they decided to build two separate enclosures. I thought it was going to be an area of the yard closed off. And John said, oh, you know, try this, try going along the fence. He's a big boy here. These two enclosures may seem elaborate, but this couple says it's a lot cheaper than paying expensive vet bills over and over again after a small cat scrap. We wouldn't dream of staying inside ourselves all the time. We still like to go outside. So for a cat, uh, it's the same thing. It just gives them a broader and more varied life experience, a higher quality of life. The only problem is if they don't want to come in, <laughs> you got to entice them to come in. Pickles! Come on, Pickles! John builds enclosures of all shapes and sizes for many kinds of indoor pets. But if these are out of your league, John suggests taking your pet out on a leash or creating an interesting space indoors for your animal to live and enjoy. In Central Saanich, I'm Jen Moranitz for The Daily. There you go.